Let's take a look at our angles here. There are some problems. We want to find the measure of angle X. Well, when I say the inscribed angle is half of its subtended arc, I mean if I trace the sides of angle X. So there's one side. Let me make this a little bit thicker. And here's my other side. See how it cuts off 86 degrees? So 86 degrees is the angle that's been subtended by X. So in other words, the measure of angle X is 86 divided by 2, which is 43 degrees. There you have it. And then if we take a look at example 2, we want to find the measure of y to x. Well, what arc cuts off, or what angle cuts off y to x? So here's y, so I'm going to trace y, and that goes back to z. Here's x, I trace that, it goes back. So in other words, 52 is half of wx. So the measure, so 52 degrees, is going to be half of arc y x. So I multiply both sides by 2. So we get 104 equals the measure of arc y x. And there we have it. Now a corollary, I guess your textbook calls this a separate theorem. But it says this, if you have two inscribed angles and they go through the same arc, they have to be congruent. That should make sense because angle B is going to be half of arc DA. Angle C is going to be half of arc DA. Therefore, by the transitive property, angle C is congruent to angle B. So let's take a look at example three. I want to find the measure of angle R. Notice angle R subtends arc QT. Look at angle S. That also subtends QT, doesn't it? So they go through the same arc, so that means those angles must be congruent. So in other words, 12x minus 13 must equal to 9x plus 2. I will subtract 9x from both sides. At the same time, let's add 13 to both sides. So I get all my variables on one side and my constant terms on the other side. So then we get 12 minus 9 is 3x. And 3x equals 15. So I divide both sides by 3. x equals 5. Now please note, we're not done. I didn't want x. I want to find the measure of angle r. So I'm going to say the measure of angle R, which I know, is 12x minus 13. So that's 12 times 5 minus 13, which is 60 minus 13, which is 47 degrees. And there's our answer.